Hello, this is Marcus from CyberDoc, LLC.com. So today I want to show you our product. This is a different sort of solder paste. So this is a left free solder paste. The one we have is the 138 degrees Celsius left free solder paste. The solder paste is used uh, no clean soldering, the soldering, well, no clean flux inside. So you don't need to clean the flux residue from the solder paste. What solder paste is is really teeny little, um, twenty about twenty to ten micron size. Is it twenty? That's pretty small, like twenty to ten micron size. Um, a micron is about the size of E. coli bacteria, but uh, twenty to ten micron size of solder bowl um, mixed in flux. So if you so the expiration date for these are usually a year or more, it depends on how you store it. Uh, you want to keep away from heat and extreme cold. Don't freeze these. Um, even if it does, so what happened over time is the left let it. Oh, well, sorry, the left free the alloy little bowl. Um, this one's left free. Can get separated from the flux that's being su suspended in, uh, you know, metal and flux doesn't mix so metal gets separated all you need to do all you need to do is just spin um just mix it a little bit since this side is a wrench foam when it's coming out the head is gonna compress with the pressure pushing all the all the material out it's gonna get mixed out anyway so the even the separation can take process in the tube by the time you squish out the tube it's already pre-mixed so the expiration date is practically forever as long as the flux doesn't dry out completely then in that case you just need to mix with other flux that's supplied um, or any other um, flux would do as long as it's no, no clean that's your application but anyway uh, I want to do a demonstration on this which is great um, it's it melting at 138 degrees Celsius that's almost 100 degrees less than what you have on the circuit board because normal solder melts nowadays uh, left free solder melts at 200 and 30 degrees Celsius, which those solders are horrible. Um, they are composed mostly of tin, and what happens is um, tin can make little whiskers when you have too much of it, and they also melt at high degree temperature. Why would you want to work with something that melts at 230 degrees Celsius when you can work with 138 degrees Celsius? But if you want a stronger bond, which that's not what lead free solder is for, or you want a stronger bond for connector, you use leather solder. Uh, Lettuce solder are the best solder. Um, hold on, let me just look really quick. So I have one for demonstration here, I one for demonstration here. Okay, good. Okay, so leather solder are the best solder. It makes excellent thermal bond. Um, it's strong, tensile, high tensile strength, doesn't break. Uh, the one we sell is a very standard 60, 63, 10, and uh, 37 lead leather solder. Uh, we, we model it as 183 degrees Celsius because that's the melting point of, of this solder paste. All our solder paste are made in US and we don't buy anything from China to be honest. Very little, we, we practically don't buy anything from China. Everything we, we sell is uh, mostly made in US. Okay, um, so what you're gonna get is a 10, 10 degree, uh, sorry, 10 cc, 10 cc syringes and you're gonna get a little uh, dispensing you actually get two because one for the flux. You get a dispensing, um, what is it called? It's a little uh, blunt tip syringe. So, okay, I'm gonna show you the difference like between the melting temperature. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on my hot air station and set it to, let's say set it to 400 degrees Celsius because my hot air station takes a long time to warm up. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do the demonstration on a piece of paper. This is just a piece of uh, computer printing paper. The reason being that because I'm too lazy to clean my soldering board, um, like the surface. And also want to give you a good view on how, how low temperature this thing is. It melts at 138 degrees Celsius. You can't even burn paper at that temperature. It can barely boil an egg. Alright, so the difference is this is left free. This is 138 at 5cc. And I'm gonna show you. So, what you normally would do is you put a little bit. 
um, to whatever you want to solder. Oh, another way for you to tell the difference between uh, these two products, if you have almost the same, is they actually have different color. Um, the leather one is it has a flux that's darker and bluish color, so it's it's more like blue, and you can almost see from the camera. I think this is more blue, leather, left free one. 138 Celsius, 183 Celsius, lead, blue. And the lead free one, it's a little bit orange, yellowish color in the flux. So, so it's, you can see it. And this is the part why this flux is great. Um, unlike a lot of cheap flux, wherever you get it, um, this Unlike those flux, this flux melts at really low degree temperature. And when you, I don't know if you can, maybe I should make like a cap, like a uh, microscope comparison as well. But so what you can see is now I'm gonna melt the paste right on my paper. Oh. And before my paper burn, I wanna be very careful not to be too close because the paper can burn if I'm too close. But look, you make solid ball without making the paper burn. I'm gonna do it one more time and watch my distance this time. This one, this way I don't get too close to the paper. Which is the whole point of this experiment. Uh, demonstration to show you. This reflows great. And it reflows into a solid ball and I'm not gonna make the paper burn this time because I'm gonna keep my distance and make the temperature low. Okay, so. Before it melts, before it reflow, it become like watery and it flat out. That's when the lid is moving. And then you increase the temperature. As you can see, it reflows perfectly into a solid bowl of solder. And imagine that's a joint, it will just reflow on, to, on top, right on top of it. Okay, so that's the left free one, which is awesome. Uh, I use all this myself. That's why I'm selling it um, because this is excellent product. It's just this is the best solder paste I, I have ever used, ever, and it's great. So you can get this from cyberdogilc.com. Here, again, this is the 138 degree Celsius left uh, left free solder. The best part of this, this is left free. Uh, you don't even worry about uh, environmental hazards, or you can touch it without worrying getting lead poison. You can you can eat this, but don't. Uh, it's not gonna get you sick, but the flux will give you a diarrhea probably. But not gonna, it's not toxic. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this is toxic. This is uh this is different. This is 183 degrees Celsius leaded solder. It also reflow excellently. Um, it has a different kind of flux, but similar um, property. It works great. It melts at higher degree temperature. It melts at, obviously, it name is 183 degrees Celsius. This is pretty standard. Um, the only difference between this is it has a better consistency in the solder bowl, in uh, micron to micron, and also has a better flux inside that makes the um, reflow much better. Oh, by the way, some people ask like why I include the left um, RMA solder flux here. It's really it's really there to be a sample and free gift for you. You're buying this solder paste and this is just tag along as a free gift because I'm nice like that. I'm giving away stuff for free. Okay, so I'm gonna put some. Uh, I put some of it into the syringe for demonstration. This is 183 leaded uh, solder paste. And I'm gonna try. I actually never done this on paper. I don't know if it's gonna refill well before the paper get burned. It won't reflow well, it's just I don't know if we can do it at such a temperature that paper doesn't get burned. Let me try. Alright, so I'm gonna keep at distance because I don't want to burn my paper. I don't I even have water around me. That's not good. I don't have alcohol. Uh -huh. Okay, so if it does get burned, I'm gonna be running to get water. Um, okay, so right now it's dry and... Oh! Oh, I'm getting some reflow action happening. Let me zoom in for you. So I guess I can do this on paper. How neat is that? So this thing reflows at uh, 183 degrees Celsius. Oh shoot. 
too close. Alright, I'm gonna do this reflow without burning the paper. Oh, you see it? You see it? It's reflowing. And then it becomes a solid lead bowl in this case. I didn't burn the paper. Okay, maybe I did a little bit because I, I, I missed on my aiming. When you do the air gun, when you concentrate airflow, it gets to you want to shoot it to the target area, not missing, because you can you know burn the neighboring parts. But this is paper, guys. Um, so what the temperature at that degree at over here really isn't that high. This is paper being like computer printing paper, quite a lot. And this is lead. This is the. 830 degrees Celsius, CyberDog LC, solder paste, and voila! All this is uh, industrial grade made in USA. We buy in bulk and we repackage it ourselves. And this is the best thing I have ever used. Okay, so this is. As you can see, both paste reflows. Excellently. Um, so, question I get from a lot of people asking me is like, what I would personally use. I use both. Like you can see, I have syringes uh, filling for the left free one and the leather one. Um, I like the 183C for everything, like connectors and anything to solder with this. Like if especially connectors, like battery connectors or FPC connectors, anything that require you to take physical force and um, if you're touching all the time and you well not touching directly on the solder but if the solder joint gets tensile strength and stress pressures all the time then I'll use the leather one because even though it's a high, slightly higher temperature at 183 which is pretty low actually but I prefer to use a lower melting temperature solder for um, let's say capacitors coils and very close to other SMD parts on the circuit board this way I can't damage anything because at 138 degrees Celsius for left free disorder one's left free, two it's at low melting temperature I can't damage anything at all it does have a great tensile strength but I just um, I use this when I, I need to like let's say it's a flip switch or something and it needs to be flipped all the time or con battery connector then I'll use 138 degrees Celsius Oh, sorry, sorry. 183 degrees Celsius compared to the leather, a uh, left free one, 137 degrees Celsius. That's 30, 138, 137. Doesn't matter. One degree difference. Um, but it's really your preference. They both, they both are good. Um, uh, to be honest, I use more 138 degrees Celsius because it's left free and it's easy to work with. The lower temperature. It really, it really have a hard time to tell the difference, like, um, in tensile strength. But in theory, the leather one has a better tensile strength. Okay, um, thank you for watching. I'm gonna make one more. This is the left free one, so... Because I just have this outside to kind of get wasted because it came out. So I'm just gonna use it anyway. Alright, so I get, let me, I get, I'm gonna end the video with uh, one more reflow. A um, piece of computer printing paper. This is like coolest thing. Uh, Alright. Camera is a little bit out of focus. There we go. And. Alright, that's the best like my camera can do apparently. Okay. Try one more time. Uh I'm gonna, not gonna have anything in between. So that's a Alright, I think that's the best you can focus. Okay. Alright, so again, this is 183 degrees Celsius solder paste from cyberdogalc.com. Voila. Um okay. Voila. And so the paste. Okay? And now I'm gonna do the refill. On a piece of paper.
So the balls are melting and reflow happen. Dong. I can even make this ball move a little bit. Look. Oh. And on a piece of paper. How cool is that? Thank you for watching. This is again. This is Song. Uh, this is Marcus from CyberDogILC.com. Thank you. I will see you next time. And yes, buy our solder paste. We have the best price and best quality. Get that stuff. Bye now.